I ask unanimous consent to include in the record of this debate an article about the Fed's policy model sacrifices its maximum employment mandate and targets 5 to 6 percent as unemployment. Without objection. I ask unanimous consent to include in the record of this debate an article from uh, Bloomberg News that talks about how secret uh, Fed loans gave banks uh, billions that were undisclosed to Congress. Without objection. This is all about disclosure and accountability. You know, the Fed's not some kind of hocus-pocus black, black box operation. The Fed essentially supplants the constitutional mandate in Article 1, Section 8 that belongs to the Congress of the United States. Let's look at some recent history here. 2008, subprime meltdown, collateralized debt obligations, go back to mortgage-backed securities, neighborhoods in Cleveland melting down, people losing their homes. The Fed looked the other way, and we're saying, oh, don't go into the Fed. It's, it'll be political. Yes, it's political. We have unemployment because of politics. We have people losing their homes because of politics. We have banks getting un uncalculated amounts of money from the Federal Reserve, and we know about it. Meanwhile, people can't get a loan to keep their home or keep their business. Audit the Fed? You bet we should audit the Fed. We have to have accountability. It's time the Congress stood up for its constitutional role. Article 1, Section 8, power to corner create money. It's time that we stood up for America's 99%. It's time that we stood up to the Federal Reserve that right now acts like it's some kind of high, exalted priesthood, unaccountable in a democracy. Let's change that by voting for the Paul Bill. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman from California.